Hello, guys. Now to Ace here. I don't want to give my thoughts on the controversy that is Game Achievement LTD versus PlayStation versus the consumer. So what am I talking about? Of course, for a while, if you noticed, there were some, sad to say, simple game on the PlayStation Store. And most of them are very, very basic. Either they're going to be Clicker or Endless Runner. To some extent, even Endless Jumper. So if you notice in the PlayStation Store, there's some game like Jump the Burrito, Jump the Taco, Jump the Kangaroo, whatever. And there's even like Clicker game, and I showcase one of them. Stroke the Dog, Stroke the Cat, Stroke the Turtle, Stroke the Spider, Yes, Stroke the Hamster, etc., 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 and most of these games are very simple. And but at the same time, they're selling them like, yeah, under five dollar, but it's very, very simple. Like there's no replay value for these games. But the biggest thing and why some people are interested with this game are easy platinum trophy. So of course, kind of related to when Nintendo achievement when to a point that even some Nintendo YouTubers are already saying that. For the next console, it is a good idea for Nintendo to add an universal achievement system. I've been trying to push that. I know in the past with Nintendo, there's two reasons why. One of them they said was the belief that video games should only be for fun. You play a video game for fun, not some competitive, not some dangling carrot, according to Miyamoto. And there's even reports that because people in Nintendo, to some extent, have no knowledge... To make something like that. That's why they have Miiverse. People didn't really care. And that's why with the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo worked with Dana to do their online infrastructure. Because at the same time. They were lacking knowledge. That's why with the Wii. Wi-Fi connection. Wii U. Nintendo ID. And finally with the Switch. The Nintendo Switch Online. Which that's also going to be used on the next console. Kind of like PSN and Xbox Live. Again, it's just the knowledge with Nintendo. They were one step behind. It is what it is. A bit of digression, but they're all related. So the controversy for a while is they were putting this game in. Sony's approving them. And heck, for a $5 game, you can get Easy Platinum. And it was kind of weird because in the past, they were kind of following with Xbox, with Xbox Live Arcade. Granted, credit to Maximilian Dude. He did say that when Phil Spencer took over, they got rid of that sort of program now doesn't matter whether the game is big or small you can put how many gamer score it is so it's kind of the same thing with psn for a while there were like the retail version games and then of course there are psn games which are shorter and of course in the past the rule is that if the game is sort of an indie downloadable type you can't add in a platinum trophy only a big retail game now of course if you know that that's not the case anymore from what I understand, I could be wrong that if you have the money, you can have an option to add in a platinum trophy. You say, why would developer do that? Well, easy. Kind of like myself and some people who loves achievements and trophy. And that's the sad part. That's where some gamers in the community are not happy about it. Is that people like myself, I know, you saw one of my showcase in my main channel, Stroke the Dog, are willing to buy it. Even if it's like $2 because they just want to have that trophy. Why? I can't really explain it. But for me, it's intriguing. Maybe in a different video, I'm going to explain my opinion and my perspective. Why I like the achievement and trophy aspect of the game. And that's what to some extent, like I said, I want to push for Nintendo to do it on their next console. We just have to wait and see. First of all, thought about that one is, I don't think it's a bad thing. First Amendment, freedom of free speech, freedom of expression. Hey, if you don't like it. Don't buy it. So if someone wants to pay for Platinum Trophy for five bucks, that's their power. Why is it to you? Again, to some extent, one is fear of not of control. And second is, to some extent, it does affect the other consumer. And what's the effect? Well, for some, they say that one of the biggest complaints is when they put in best selling on the PlayStation Store, especially like the website, you're going to see mostly is yes, those jumping burrito, jumping taco, stroke the dog, stroke the cat, etc, etc, etc. Wait a minute. Are they best selling? Well, because the rule of best selling is, what is it? When a lot of people buy that particular game, that's considered best selling. It doesn't matter whether the game is good or bad. The algorithm says if a lot of people are buying them, hey, they're best selling. That's the flaw. 
That's why to some extent that Sony even had to go one step further and have to reassess the situation that if the game was good quality and is best selling, that's what's considered a best selling. So if the game is super bad, but people are buying it because again, $5 platinum trophy, they're going to say, yeah, no, we don't consider it. That's why even to some extent, if you notice with Nintendo kind of dickish in my opinion with the eShop, the rule now is that the game has to be a minimum of $2. There were some guilty. I was buying like 99 cents game. And most of them that I buy for 99 cents were crap. And then it kind of ruined their algorithm. The best selling were just crap games. People are complaining about it. That's why some Nintendo fans are complaining how the eShop for the Switch is kind of, well, shitty. Same goes with, again, with now with the online website Sony Store. They had to fix it. So if you want to find like those games, you really need to find it. And that's okay. I think that's okay. You know, it's a compromise because not everyone give a shit about trophies. Not everyone wants to play jumping burrito, jumping taco, or stroke the dog, stroke the hamster, and whatever, just to get easy trophy. And like I said, those type of game may be sort of casual, simple, whatever. I call it a trophy genre or an achievement genre because the objective of the game is just to build up your trophy. And most probably going to say it's stupid. Yes, it is. But some people don't care. They just want to build up their trophy, achievement, whatever. That's why some even said, well, I don't want to buy that game the Switch. Yeah, it's portable, but you know what? I don't get trophies or achievement. I don't like it. And there's some that is the reverse. I'd rather have it portable than getting trophy. Because there's one that I remember. It was a like an Ask Anything at James uh, Ultra Chain TV's channel in Switch. And one of the questions I asked him was, because he was intrigued with the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection with all the Street Fighter game, and he was excited to get in on the Switch. So what I said, well, I know it's interesting the Switch, but what's more interesting to you, portability or earning trophies or achievement? He said, not nah, portability. I don't really. And James said, I don't really care about trophies or achievement. I get to issue their own. Of course. Like I said, for me, I'd rather have trophies over portability. That's just me. That's why I love this game. I don't think they're bad, but I can see why it kind of ruined for the general consumer because they don't want to see that. They don't care. And you say that's best selling. It doesn't make sense to a point that Sony and Nintendo, and to some extent, probably Microsoft, have to fix their online website store to fix the algorithm. So, my thoughts about that one I don't think it's bad, but it's not for everyone. Because the controversy now is that Game Achievement Limited basically announced that they're not even going to do that anymore. Because they were doing a lot. And then to a point that Sony kind of changed the rule to say that if you're making a game just to make trophies, then you can't do that anymore. Because remember, there was a game that they did, press X for Platinum. And believe it or not, that is one of the rumor was that's one of the most <laughs> sold games when it was introduced. It was a 99 cents game. All you have to do is press X, Kachang, Platinum Trophy, and guess what? A lot of people who love trophy, like myself, I didn't get it. I missed the boat, but a lot of people did, and they were like proud of it. I know you shouldn't. I get the video game, don't take it seriously. But yeah, there is a flaw there that if you add trophies, People will buy the game, even if it's shady. And Game Achievement Unlimited kind of proved the point there. And unfortunately, in my perspective, is yes, they did announce that they're no longer doing that. They're not going to do any more sort of a clicker trophy genre anymore because Sony kind of basically banned that. Because it kind of ruined, like I said, for most people. It isn't unfortunate, that's my opinion, but you got to do what you got to do for business. Not everyone's going to like it. And you piss most of your consumer. That's not a good idea there. So thoughts about that one is. It is unfortunate they got rid of it. That they stopped doing it. It was kind of fun. But to some extent. Are you willing to pay $5 for getting an easy trophy? Just saying there. But probably some they do. And like I said. That's for the genre itself. The idea. Yeah. It's not bad in my opinion. But it doesn't really help Sony or the developer. Because. A lot of people are already saying bad things about it because it's like, it's stupid. Why even you allow it? Again, why is that allowed? Because it's business. You can't deny someone's creativity. That's kind of wrong. I thought it's the First Amendment, but I understand the perspective of business and the accessibility with the consumer. They're not happy about it. So it is what it is. Suck to some extent. But business, you got to do what you got to do to keep 
the general consumer, most of them happy. So that's my thoughts on game achievement LTD and the trophy versus PlayStation versus consumer. Everybody's a butting head to a point that the developer said, yeah, we're done doing it. Don't expect us to do more. And it's what it is. So there you go. So with that, I'll see you guys later.